All right, let's see here. I got to turn this off so I don't get in trouble from Chelsea. All right. Would you please? Oh, sorry. All right. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Call to order. Roll call, please. Present. Patrick Dwayne Bebo. Present. Dwayne Bebo. Present. Christopher Godway. Here. Patty LaFlemme. Here. Ed Marin. Here. Richard Sears. Here. David Trudeau. Here. And Avi Tomer. Okay, we're going to, and the next one is the agenda. There's going to be an amendment in the agenda section F, a miscellaneous on page 12, I believe. Or is it left? Is being, yeah, page 12 is being removed. So I need a motion to accept the agenda as amended. Motion. Okay, John. Second. Dwayne. Discussions, questions about it? Why are we removing it? There we go. We're still in negotiations with the uh, association over one of the items on that memorandum. Then I'll second it. Oh, Dwayne already seconded. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Disgusting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. All right. Presentations. Opening of schools. <coughs> what? what? The we just did. Yeah, we approved it as amended. So I first just want to thank, number one, our buildings and grounds for all the hard work this summer, getting the building back up and running, uh, getting them, cleaning them, the offices, cleaning the, the classrooms, all that fun work. <coughs> and to uh, get a building ready for, for teachers and students to come to the building, so I can commend them every year for that. I also want to thank our teachers, our staff, uh, for all the hard work they put in. The first couple days of school, a lot of big lift, getting it back in, in, in action, getting people back in the, the routines. and making sure our students are have everything they need as they start the school year. So I want to thank our teachers and staff uh, for that process. Uh, I do want to start just number one, not only the opening school, but summer school. We've had the opportunity to kind of touch base on that. Um, we've had the opportunity to run six weeks of summer school the last couple of years. Um, it's highly been highly productive in high school. I uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys some numbers on the production of what's happening in the summer here on our campus. Uh, number one, we won't be able to do this again without our teachers, our staff that come in the building, work with our kids for this high success. So I want to thank that all the summer school teachers that did come in the summer and work really hard with our kids to make sure that we're getting course credit, we're getting readings credit, uh, increasing grades, all these wonderful things that happen in the summertime with our teachers. Uh, so just a few numbers for you guys to kind of to, to look at. We had 52 students obtain course credit this summer. Uh, we had 67 students attend readings review sessions. We had 58 students attend uh, Regents Review for a higher score. So they, they had a high score, and then we came back and took the test again to get a higher score. Pretty impressive with that with 58 students. We also had 44 students attain proficiency on the August Regents that didn't previously have proficiency. Uh, so those numbers are really impressive for summer work of six weeks, working with kids every day uh, for five and a half hours to prepare them for that that work. Uh, a really cool thing too is having those students come in six weeks every day, you know, to get those credits they need to be here. Uh, so that's a really cool number is that a lot of work went into the summer. Um, and I want to commend our, our staff for all that work and all the hard work that they put in to prepare those students for success on those exams and, and coursework. So um, we started school off. It's been a busy week. Uh, first, first week is always busy. We started the superintendent's days on the 30th and 31st. Uh, teachers in the building, we had a faculty meeting. One of the big things that we went over this year is the implementation of the seven mindsets. That's the new SEL curriculum uh, in the high school. Uh, so that implementation, we had a, a PD for the morning of the first day uh, for two hours. We had a presenter here in the LGI uh, that went through the lessons with us, went through the procedure of what that's going to look like, um, and kind of rolled that out um, in our classrooms here coming up. So that was a great PD. I'm excited to have that as part of our, our new initiative here in the high school with the BSEL program. Uh, we had freshman orientation on August 30th uh, for, our, for our freshmen coming in the building. 
Uh, we had a night where they could socialize. They had an opportunity to hear the graduation requirements from our counselors. Uh, we had support services here. They had tours, socialization, the gym where they could play. Cornhole, they had the opportunity to play some different things. We had all the clubs inside the, the gymnasium too where they could sign up for clubs. They could be, be involved in some of those things here on campus. Uh, I'd also like to thank our NHS students for being here for the tours that they, they provided to our students. We also had a student panel in the high school cafeteria where students and freshmen could ask them questions uh, regarding their experience at freshmen, so that was highly successful for those students coming. Uh, we had great little assemblies last week, uh, last Wednesday. That's just bringing each class down to the gymnasium to school with expectations with them. I uh, reiterated to make sure that we're taking care of each other. Uh, that's a big initiative here in the high school of making sure that we're looking out for each other, we're supporting each other, and really enforcing that through that actual grade level assembly. So that was a great success. And uh, we finished last Friday with the moving up ceremony. Uh, so it was a really cool event. Uh, our seniors got to take their spot at the gymnasium and the senior bleachers. Uh, our freshmen got to be welcomed to the high school uh, in, in the gym, and we made our way out to the athletic field uh, for socialization, music, where students can hang out and interact uh, to end the first week of school. So highly successful first week of school. Uh, I know I was tired on Friday night. I know the students were, the teachers were, uh, but it's a great start to school year and I'm excited for the next couple of weeks. Any questions for me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. to my summer school faculty. The middle school summer bridge program runs for six weeks. We train each grade levels every two weeks. We had over 55 students cycle in and out. Um, one of the key things we work on is not only um, providing them with intervention academically, but working on with them socially and their social well-being. A lot of our students that struggle in the year are the ones that are invited to attend summer bridge. So, they did some work with Champlain Valley Family Center throughout their two week, throughout the two week program, working with Tiffany Titus and her team of students, or her team uh, from Champlain Valley Family Center, and had a very positive experience. Uh, we kicked off the school year with our new student orientation. It was a great success with standing room only. Students and families were able to gain insight into what a sixth grader could expect coming to middle school by sitting through a short presentation facilitated by admins and then followed by building tours. These were facilitated by National Honor Society students and middle school faculty. We had over 20 middle school faculty attending this orientation. I think it was a, a record. Orientation was followed by our back to school bash. Um, it was held in the high school gym. It was well attended by middle school students, their families and faculty. Students were able to pick up their schedules and sign up for co-curricular activities while enjoying ice cream sundaes donated by stewards. The first week of school was all about supporting our students and being reacclimated to the building. They became familiar with our school-wide expectations. Teachers did a phenomenal job facilitating activities focused on building relationships both between and with students. This past Monday, we had an assembly for all seventh grade students on 9-11 commemorate 9-11 as a day of service and remembrance. The first portion of the assembly was a presentation about the events of September 11, 2001. This was followed by a panel of individuals who served the community in various ways. The panelists shared their experiences insight and insights into different aspects of community service, emphasizing the value of giving back and making a difference. This is an excellent opportunity for our students to learn about the importance of service and reflect on the ways they can contribute to our community. This year's panelists included representatives from New York State Police, Beaton Town Spot Volunteer Fire Department, City of Plattsburgh Fire Department, North Country Honor Flight, United <coughs> Way of the Adirondacks, Community Bay, Rotary Club, and the American Red Cross. So overall, we're off to a good start and it sets the stage for a positive school year. Any questions? Thank you. That's great, thank you.
busy summer for Cumberland Head. We have several students and staff participating in the summer break program and extended school year, as my colleagues have just talked about. We hired several new staff members, offered a lot of PD, and had a lot of fun programs available for students. Several of our faculty and staff members have organized extended learning opportunities for our children. There was a trip to Echo Center, Ben and Jerry's factory tour, and an object fun day that included a trip to the Wild Center and Mount Van Holdenburg. There was also an Irish step class, and lastly, a fun trip to Lake George where students visited Diamond Land. All of that was thanks to our Yellow Brown. There was a two-day Summer Leadership Institute training held for co-integrated teachers and special education staff. The training gave teachers a good understanding of inclusion practices and also gave them practical strategies that they could take back to their classrooms to use immediately. And I was very happy with the participation of public and head teachers. Again, there was another training. A couple of BES was there as well. There was a two-day Eureka Math training held in August. We were very happy to have a wonderful presenter who was actually here in person. Um, the first day of the training was designed for those who had not piloted the program last year, and then the second day of the training was designed for those teachers who piloted the program, but they just kind of want to level up their instruction and get to deeper into the curriculum. So teachers gave a lot of great feedback about the training, so I look forward to working with the teachers this year and seeing how our math program and instruction Developed. So again, very impressed with the Cumberland Head turnout. We had committee meetings. We had our MTSS committee meeting several times over the summer to help revise our current plan. Changes to highlight include an additional reading intervention program. And now um, we're using an SEL part of the plan, which is more well articulated. And Cumberland Head, thanks to <coughs> additional intervention provider that was hired, has a better articulated map intervention program. So I appreciate the thought the community members put into the plan. Superintendent's days, like the others have mentioned, we dug into the new SEL program at the K-8 level. It's called Character Strong. It, um, the teachers were given a two-hour training. They were able to look at the resources, and then they had time to plan with their colleagues. The Cumberland Head faculty meeting gave us a chance to celebrate those hitting milestone years in their careers and provided us an opportunity to welcome our new staff members, we do have a lot of them. Our new teachers and support staff met with myself to discuss procedures, our committees met, our grade levels met, and I think teachers were really appreciative of the extra time they were given in their classrooms to prepare and plan for the school year. Open House was on August 31st, always very well attended at Cumberland Head. The PTO provided donuts and lemonade, and we had the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts. And we also had BHSM there with the information of the group, which was very helpful. All the students were given opportunity to meet their classmates, their teachers, and tour the building, play on the playground. On September 11, the Eagle Pride Committee set up a PBIS day, and students traveled through the stations to be trained with the various behavior expectations in certain areas of the school. The day was really well organized, went smoothly, and Eagle Pride shout out to that committee for making the day so great for the kids. And as the school year started, teachers are very busy building relationships, routines with students, developing classroom routines, rituals, <coughs> and all this work they put into the beginning will serve them well as the year goes on. As my colleagues mentioned, again, thank you to the business department, buildings and grounds, the transportation department, food service, the district office staff, for our faculty and staff for helping us over the summer so we can have a good productive start to the school year. I'm looking forward to the new school year, working together with our staff, students, and families to conquer whatever challenges that we have and to celebrate each other this school year. Thank you. Questions? Questions? Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ms. Marco. I just want to reiterate what Principal Stoutinger mentioned about the MTSS committee, professional development, character strong. A lot of these things is interesting for Darcy and I to go through we do a lot of the same stuff about the summertime and the school year. So I don't want to repeat some of that stuff, but I emulate what she was talking about. So our superintendent days were very successful. We had a lot of excitement. Our open house was on the 30th as well. We had about 90% participation from families, which was phenomenal. It was incredibly busy in there. 
Also, our PTO over the summer on the 4th, they had their first Chalk the Walk. So we had many parents and kids Chalk the Walk at the entrance of BES and lit up to a little bit to the high school too with fun pictures and sayings and it was just, it was beautiful. They also came in and built a balloon arch and the entryway for us to come into and they provided snack for us for the open house as well. So very involved PTO, we're very thankful for that. I also want to send a huge, out, huge thank you out to Buildings and Grounds as well. Beacon County Elementary School with phenomenal for opening days. The staff was flexible with our teachers and they worked tirelessly to ensure we were ready. I was thoroughly impressed. I think I mentioned that to Jen several times actually. Uh, we are thrilled to welcome new staff, including Associate Principal Mrs. Krug. She's jumping into this role and she's hit the ground running. We're also quite fortunate to welcome new teaching staff, new support staff <coughs> to our building. The intervention specialist role for BHSN is also continuing, and that partnership has been very beneficial for us. Today was our sixth day of school with kids, and as you know, it's been a little busy, but we're hitting the ground running, and we're doing a really good job. We have our welcome back assembly plan for this Friday, with our expectation stations coming up next Monday and Tuesday. We're all doing kind of the same stuff, <laughs> it seems like. But I want to do a shout out to our PBAS committee for planning that. That's set to go. And lastly, um, they mentioned ELOs as well, but our VAS and ELOs are cranking, providing students with excellent opportunities to explore and learn about new things. We're looking forward to a very busy and joyous adventure in elementary school. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. You're up. Yeah. So, you know, you heard from the four building heads. Basically, it's a team effort. Um, I've been very impressed with the faculty, the staff, the administration. When working together, they do some great things for the kids, the community, coming in and being participating and supporting the school and the students. I mean, we could talk about all of those orientation nights to last Friday's football game, which was well attended. And there was so much community participation there with the baskets and everything else. So the bones here are good, they're strong. We just need to you know, keep moving forward. We had a great start. I also want to, Duffy's 9-11 uh, comment, you know, it's been 22 years, time flies. You know, for some of us, it was like yesterday. And, and you know, I, I did the math once and, you know, these kindergarten kids are really no different than when I was in kindergarten. It's pretty close to when our principal used to go up and, and we used to do Pearl Harbor Day and you don't hear or see of that anymore. It sort of disappeared in 68, 69. So I hope, you know, remember, because it is a day called Patriot's Day that things continue to happen. Uh, we have Constitution Day coming up on the 17th. I hope there's something done in that retrospect for the kids too. So, you know, we look forward. It was a great opening. The first week went extremely well. We only got like 39 to go and We'll be walking the stage at graduation, right? So thanks, thanks for everyone here that's you know made a good start to the year. Excellent, thank you. Anybody have questions for Ms. Besson? No. Okay, Ms. Promi. Um, we really don't have much. We've been supporting all these wonderful things that these people have been doing to get started. Um, the long and grounds and cafeteria and transportation deserves a. I mean to reroute and route and route again and route some more. Um, so just thank you to everybody. Everything went very well. Um, we'll be, just so Chelsea and I will be sending out an email for audit committee. Um, Mr. Bowler should be done our audit this week, we're hoping, we've been in contact, and um, he will come to the audit committee and present. And then if you guys would like, he can also come to October's board meeting. Up to you guys, but. Um, so we'll be in touch shortly to let you know when when will be best for the audit committee to meet. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> and so the only committee is the athletic and extracurricular, and I was on that by phone. Um, we kind of started revisiting the whole the whole program. And anybody want to talk to it? Yeah, I guess I was there. Um, in, so basically, we reviewed the. Um, the assessment tool as well as the coach's handbook and in the end like Scott you were there too we reviewed the um, 
the assessment tool, and I think we pretty much got to it, but we need to bring it before the whole committee again, and then we'll be able to bring the assessment tool as well as the coach's handbook to everyone. <coughs> I think it's well done. It's done in a way that we're helping people to grow because we know that, you know, we have to model for the kids ourselves, and that, that's where it came from. So we're looking at doing honest assessments, but honest assessments that are gonna help our programs grow, help our coaches grow, and then provide more opportunities for children through successful programs. That's what it's about. It's about the kids, right? <clears throat> um, yeah, okay. Anybody have any comments on that? No? Keep moving. All right. Result that the interim superintendent of schools recommends to the Board of Education to approve the following minutes. Um, yes. Public, public. Did I skip it? Oh, it's at the bottom. Anyone here for public comment? Forever hold your peace. Sure. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Result that the interim superintendent of schools recommends to the Board of Education to approve the following minutes. Motion, please. Motion, Rick. Rick. Second. I'll second it. John. John. Any discussion? No <coughs> minutes. Questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Result that the interim superintendent of schools recommends to the Board of Education to approve the CSC, CPSC, and 504 recommendations dated 9 12 23. Motion, please. I motion. Patty? Second? I'll second. Okay. Okay. Um, any discussion or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. <coughs> Personnel. It's always full of stuff. Resolve that the interim superintendent of schools recommends to the Board of Education that the following resolutions on this consent agenda resignations, termination, appointments be and are hereby approved. I need a motion, please. Motion, John. John, second. I'll second, David. David. All right, let's, uh, Mr. Besson, is there anything you want to highlight in this list? Can we talk to him? We're going over this in agenda setting, John and I and Mr. Besson. Does anybody have any questions on this? Is there good clarity? Uh, especially if, um, uh, say if somebody wants to be a bus aide or whatever type of aide or whatever, is there good clarity to the support staff, to the employees of who is eligible and who is not eligible to apply for certain positions? Jobs are posted, and if there's any, and the bottom line is any questions, please contact Victoria Lashway. So Victoria will meet, answer any question that you need, and she'll work with you to help you with civil service. So, you know, anyone, believe me, we're looking for people as well, or even to join us. Question? Anyone else? Other questions of personnel? All right, that puts us all the way through to page 10. Did we vote on oh, that? Oh, yeah. All in favor? Yeah. All right. Thank you, John. <clears throat> Motion passes. Miscellaneous. Consent agenda. Resolved that the interest superintendent of schools recommends to the Board of Education that the following resolutions on this consent agenda. Contract. SRO admissions for supporting events. Building level emergency response plans, district wide school safety plan, MOU with support staff. That one's, oh, that one's out. Yeah. Agreement between CFES and BCSD and athletic mergers. B and are hereby approved. I need a motion, please. Motion. Okay. Dwayne. Okay. Second. Rick. Rick. All right. Any questions? Discussions, thoughts. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Motion passes. All right. Going through like merger. <laughs> Financial section. Resolve that the interim superintendent of schools recommends to the Board of Education that the following resolutions on this consent agenda transfers be and are hereby approved. Motion, please. Motion, Rick. Rick. Second. Patty. Patty. All right, this is a roll call. Any discussion first? Okay, roll call, please. Troy Anderson. Aye. Yes. Christopher Gadway? Yes. Patty LeBlanc? Yes. Ed Marin? Yes. Richard Sears? Yes. David Trudeau? Yes. Motion passes. Public comment. Oh, additional items to discuss first. Hold on. Board retreat. We, we had had some discussions about doing it over at CVS so we could have a chance to do it there and everyone get a chance to visit if you haven't been there. Um, that's an option if everybody wants to. You can have it catered by anybody in the district. One of the things I would like to change that we haven't done before is we've always had it at one place in Beekman in, within the, the district and it'd be kind of nice to spread the love and start having different restaurants or caterings participate. So that would be. So, looking to do it at CVS? Does anybody have any? You like that idea? I would, I would love it at CVS, and I'd love it if the, they could do the catering from CVS, if that were a possibility. The, yeah, that's, the that's good do food. a great job, and it's, it's, it's nice to see. It's, it's yeah, good food. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll reach out to Ms. Um, Buffer a few dates, and I'll email you guys and let you know what, like, whatever the one like, Usually in the past, I've made like a spreadsheet. <coughs> you guys just tell me what dates. Sure. Like they'll give me three dates, and then I send it to you guys. You guys tell me what date works better for you. Whatever date like has the most people that are available, that's what we'll schedule it for. Okay. Um, it would be good for the board if you would like to s send send me some thoughts as to what is important that you feel you need covered more information on, more or less. We have a pretty relatively new board, so a lot of that's, a lot of stuff is covered in your New York State required uh, education program, but if there's anything in particular you want to discuss, this is the time to do it, right? Who's going to put it on, the same one as last year? Uh, we don't know. <clears throat> we don't know. But we can have them tailor anything to what we want. In fact, we don't have to do, do it just once a year. We could have an can have one for this and do one for something else specifically different that we feel is really critical since you know we're trying to move forward and grow and and I believe they send out a spreadsheet for you guys or like a form um, asking you what you guys would like to discuss so that's what I'll send out to you guys and you can you guys can send it to me and On, on the agenda earlier, I'm attending the uh, school board meeting in October. Um, so every year, for, especially for those that are new, <clears throat> every year, New York State School Boards Association sends out a survey to all board members about different topics. And we answer, and based on that, the response on the survey, the school board association gets together with the attorneys and they kind of filter out if, if there are topics that are like 50-50, they won't really kind of go after them. But if there are topics that have some significant separation, what they do is they have representatives from every region of the state and they get together several times before this, this yearly Congress, if you will, and they go over resolutions that different school boards put together. If there's something that teacher, administrator, parent wants to see changed in education in New York State, they work with the local school boards to create this request to be moved forward to the yearly program. 
And it's kind of an interesting process because it's a way that many changes in school education have happened is they come through that system, they go through the resolutions committee, gets presented at, at the uh, yearly business meeting, and then if it's voted in favor, then that gets moved to all the attorneys to, to work with the legislature to try to affect education change. So we haven't done that here, um, but I think it's something for us to start looking forward. If you look at your emails, there's probably a resolution package I came to you. It's big. If you have some thoughts on it, if you want to give me some thoughts, you're welcome to uh, take a look at it and send it to me. So, so what they do in that resolution packet, they go over all the resolutions they're putting forward for uh, uh, support and some for not support. And they'll tell you why the body felt that they want to support that and they tell you why the ones that they didn't want to support. It's good information. Um, okay. What else? Do you want to input on the Hall of Fame discussion? Yeah, we, we kind of, yes, okay. let's do that. So just to follow up, we've, the Hall of Fame committee has continued to work to try to move forward. Um, we have selected candidates to induct this year. Uh, we are still challenged with the how do we fund this and move the money along, given that the process that we use, was used in the past is not entirely correct and we need to revise that. So there may be a later date for people being inducted and the dinner that they have for them and so on. Um, we've talked about maybe moving it to the winter sports season and doing it in conjunction with the Hannah's Hope night for the hockey team where there's always a big crowd around. Um, we don't want to not have the tournament, but we also want to figure out what we have to do to get this right moving forward um, and protect everybody. So that's where the, the committee's at. Any questions on that? I do tell you we have two inductees for this year. Very, very, very deserving people. Excellent. Good. Thank you very much. Anybody else for public comment? I've got, so I've got actually one more question. One more. I, I, I'm on a roll tonight. <laughs> um, I saw recently the governor has decided that the Lunar New Year is going to be a new holiday for schools. <laughs> Does that impact this year's schedule or no, it's on starting next year? It's on a Saturday, okay. but the next two years it will be during a school day. So it just there's another day that everything <laughs> gets compressed. And the other one that's still out there which might pass is Diwali, which is an Indian holiday or a you know, somewhere in that area, it's the festival of colors where they mm -hmm. throw all the colors in the air. Right, right, right. Okay. Interesting. So the uh, the lunar one, are you saying that we're going to have, it's going to be a hit or miss every year, depending on whether it's on a school day? Yep. So even if it's not on a school day, it's they're not going to make it happen on a Friday yeah. or Monday? Right. It's not a state holiday. Okay. She made it a holiday for schools only. So state workers still have to go in. Everyone else goes, it's only a school holiday. <laughs> All right, there we go. Thank and, you. And there's other groups out there now that are upset that their holidays haven't happened yet. And so it's gonna keep happening. Someone's always gonna be upset. Yeah. But before I forget, thank you, John, for stopping. Anybody else have anything else they would like to discuss? This is time to do it in additional items. Questions? That's all right. Okay. Public comment. Nothing there, and we do not have an execution, executive session planned for the evening. Don't be too excited, there. Okay. <laughs> all right. Resolve that the Board of Education adjourn the meeting at, what are we at? 6.53, is that right? All in favor? I mean, no, sorry, I need a motion, please. Okay, Dwayne and... <laughs> you sure anybody else want to stay here? No? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Thank you very much and thank you for the start of the year.